Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Huddleston, principal here at the Deaf School. I wanna welcome all of you. Oh my gosh, wow, it's amazing to see a full house today. That has not happened in a long time. It's awesome. Of course, as always, we wanna thank Julie who takes over and runs all of these performances. And again, support from all of the teachers, elementary teachers, paras, everybody jumped in to help on this one, to make it work out. We do have several people. Um, Jamie Lugo from Adams is here helping. Everyone with technology. Yes, we make a great team. We're here to do this all together. So thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy. Please know that if you're gonna take your child home after the performance, let Janet know just to make sure that we are able to communicate with the buses. And thank you again. And now on with the show. Curtain opens, backdrop. Little red hand holds gardening tools. Girl in red hand costume stands center stage. Mouse enters. The title of this story is The Little Red Hen. A long time ago, mice and dogs and cats and bears and a little red hen lived together. The house was a mess. See what happens next. Mouse leaves the stage. Red hen sweeping the floor. Oh, this house is a mess. Maybe the animals will help me. Maybe I'll ask them to help me. I'll ask the mice. Mice enter the stage. Three mice sit down on the beanbag. Mice stand up. Will you help me clean? No, I'm dreaming of cheese. Nope. Three mice leave the stage. Oh, and begins well, sleeping. Who else? Hmm. Who else will help me clean? Uh, maybe the dogs will help me. Dogs enter the stage. There are two of them. They're sleeping. <laughs> Hen wakes them up. Will you help me clean? No, I'm dreaming of food. <laughs> two dogs leave the stage. <sighs> Maybe the bears will help me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Two bears enter the stage. One bear waves at his parents in the audience. Red hen wakes up the bears. And the bears stand what? up. Will you help me clean? No, no, no. Bears are marching around. No, no. I don't want to clean. No. <laughs> Look, no, there's, no. My, there's my mom. Oh, she says hi. Bears exit. <sighs> Maybe the cats will help me clean. Cats enter the stage and go to sleep. There are two of them. Hen walks over and wakes the cats up. Will you help me clean? No. No, maybe later. I'm tired. I don't want to clean. Two cats I'm dreaming of exit cheese. the stage. <sighs> so now I have to go plant the seeds. Maybe they'll help me plant the seeds. No. All animals no, march no, onto the stage. No, 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 no. 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 And they're marching around the stage. I, no, no, no. All the animals exit. 
Oh. I'm done planting the seeds. Now I have to chop the wheat. Maybe they'll help me with that. Please help me chop the wheat. No. The animals march no, again onto the stage. No, I don't stage. want to. No, 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 no. Very emphatic marching as they make their way around the stage and exit. <sighs> Done chopping the wheat. Hmm. Next, I'm gonna make a cake. Will you all help me make the cake? All the animals no! put their head out. No, no, no. And peek onto the stage saying no, no. <sighs> Little red hen sits at the table, begins to stir the bowl. I'm done making the cake. Maybe the mice will eat it. I'm all done. Will you at least help me eat it? I want to. All the animals come back on stage. Go. I want to. They gather around the little I red want hand. some. I want to eat it. Me, me, me. I will. I want some. Well, I clean the house. I planted the seeds, I chopped the wheat, I made the cake, and now I'm done. So who's gonna eat it? I will. I'm Aww. gonna eat it. Oh, the animals sad. appear sad. <laughs> Maybe next time we will help. All the students make their way to the front of the stage grabbing each other's hands and bowing. <laughs> Backdrop of a lemonade stand. Sign says, lemonade, 25 cents. Girl stands behind the stand, which has four red glasses on top. Girl customer enters the stage with a purse. Some lemonade to drink, please. 25 cents. Girl digs in her purse, looking for a coin. She pays the seller. She receives her cup. Thank you. You're welcome. And exits the stage. Another girl arrives. Hi. Can I have lemonade, please? 25 cents. She reaches in her purse. Grab some money. She pays for the lemonade. I don't have any money. What? Oh, wait a minute. Look, look out there. She gets her lemonade. Thank you. And exits the stage. Bye, everyone. Boy enters the stage, looks at the audience, and walks off the stage. Girl enters. Some lemonade, please. 25 cents. She pats her pocket. I don't have any money. But wait a minute. I have a magic coin. All your wishes will come true. She reaches in her pocket and grabs the magic coin. She hands it to the seller. Sure. This coin will make all your wishes come true for sure. So let thanks for the lemonade. <laughs> Seller hands the girl a glass of lemonade. Now Thank there is you. one glass of lemonade left. Seller no. pretends to drive around the stage. She stops oh, and thinks. I have an idea. 
a children's village. A magical children's village. One, two, three. Girl exit stage. On screen, in the back are pictures of the seller and her friends at the children's village. All children come on stage and they bow. <laughs> Curtain closes. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Backdrop photo of a boy saying, help me, wolf, wolf. Shepherd enters and guards sheep. Girl enters wearing a kerchief. The title of this story is The Boy Who Cried Wolf. I'm so tired of watching these sheep all day. It's so boring. <gasps> I have an idea. Help, help, wolf. Boy enters with a cane. Uh -huh, I'm just kidding, I fooled you. Shame on you. Boy with a cane, leaves stage. Hmm. Oh, it's so boring watching these sheep all day. <gasps> I have an idea, I'll do it again. Help, help, wolf! Girl with the kerchief enters the stage. Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? There's no wolf, ha ha. Remember, if you keep lying, nobody else is gonna believe you. Girl leaves the stage. Oh. <sighs> Another day, all day long, so boring. I'll take a nap. Shepherd lays down There's to sleep. two sheep. I'm hungry. Wolf enters the stage, sneaks up, and grabs and steals the sheep. Shepherd wakes up, gets up. Oh, no! Help! 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 Wolf! Wolf! Somebody help! Ugh. Girl enters the stage. Remember what I told you. If you lie and lie and lie again, nobody else is going to believe you. All students the move end. to the stage front, hold hands, and take a deep bow. Curtain closes. <laughs> Curtain opens. Prop drops, curtain is pulled back close. Curtain opens again. Backdrop, Abba Yo Yo, drawing of a monster. Narrator on the stage. The title of this story is Abba Yo Yo. A long time ago lived a boy. Hmm. No one appears. I'll try again. A long, long time ago there lived a boy. Boy enters carrying a ukulele. There he is. He loved playing his ukulele. Boy plays the ukulele. People in the village didn't like it. Girl enters. Be quiet, my baby's trying to sleep. Sorry. But he kept playing. Please stop. I told you to stop playing, my baby's trying to sleep. Girl Sorry. enters with the baby again. And he still kept playing. She comes back a third time. I asked you to stop and you will She takes won't. his ukulele away. Get out of here. And forcibly hands it back to him. His father was also mischievous. He Girl had a magic boy walk off stage. wand. Father walks on stage with a magic wand. He could make things disappear. Father Someone hides was behind drinking lemonade. a prop. Girl enters with a cup. Father waves the wand, and the cup disappears. Hey, where's my cup? 
up. Girl leaves the stage. Someone was working with a hammer. A girl villager enters with a hammer. Father waves his wand and the hammer disappears. Hey, where's my hammer? Girl villager leaves, leaves the stage. After a long day of work, someone was sitting. Girl villager enters and tries to sit. Father waves his wand and the chair disappears. Where's my chair? Where'd my chair go? It disappeared. The villagers were fed up. Villagers come we on stage. We banish you from the village. Out you go. Father and son leave the stage. Girl leaves the stage. Now this village tells stories about a monster named Abi Yo Yo. Nobody believed the stories. But one day, the sun was red as blood, and they heard a It's Abi Yo Yo, run for your lives! Darkness on the stage. comes up and the monster is center run. stage. Oh no, help, help! Villagers run onto the stage. Help, help us, help! Abby yo, yo saw a sheep and he ate it up. He saw a cow and he ate it up. The villagers were terrified. But on the other side of the village, the father and son were playing cards. Father and son enter, sit on chairs, playing cards at a table. Dad, look. They point to Abba yo, yo I have an idea. I can make him disappear. Play the ukulele. Father and son approach Abba Yo Yo. Son begins to play the ukulele, and Abba Yo Yo begins to dance. Play faster, please, play faster. Abba Yo Yo dances faster. Even faster. Abba Yo Yo dances faster. Faster, it's almost time. Yo-Yo falls down, and Father waves his wand and makes him disappear. Ta-da! Villagers enter on stage. Abi Yo-Yo is gone. Thank you! You saved our lives! Thank you! you saved and they all hug. Yeah. The end. <laughs> Students hold hands, move to the front of the stage. And all students bow with our narrator. Curtain closes. Title, Sucked into Minecraft. Backdrop, scene from Minecraft with boy holding a flower, bees chasing him. Once upon a time, there were three kids playing at a park. Three kids are and on stage. And then a boy walked by. Let's see what happens next. Kids are playing ball. A boy runs onto stage, throws trash in a bucket. Whatever you do, don't play this game. Girl reaches into the trash and examines what she's picked up. It looks like an old PS5 video game. Oh, it says Minecraft Fight of the Dragon. What does that mean? I don't know, but let's try it at home. All three kids exit the stage. Lights go off.
lights come on. Three kids on the stage. Narrator enters. They went to their house to play the game on their TV. Perfect. Okay, it looks like it should work, I think. Let's play it now. I want to play it now. I'm going to start the game. Alex puts the game in. It's not working. Hmm. Try it again. One of the boys disappears. Wait, where did he go? Melissa goes to look. Hmm. When she looks, she gets sucked into the game. What? Alex said. Where's Melissa? Cartridge. Where did she go? She was just there. What is that? Hmm. Alex crawls over to the game. Oh and no! He gets sucked into the game as well. Lights go off. student asks the lights to go back down until they're ready. Three students are on stage. Two boys and a girl. And they fall. Where are we? I think we're in a game. I think we're in a portal and got sucked into, and now we're in the game. Oh no, look out! There's a rock falling! And our lights go down. Lights go back up, rock has fallen on There's Alex's There's a rock foot. falling. Oh no, my foot is stuck! How I'm stuck! Oh, look! There's an Enderman. He can help us. Where's Enderman? An Enderman enters from the back Don't of the look. stage. He picks up the rock, carries it off of Alex's foot, off the stage. Whew. Thank you! Oh, thank you! There's a, oh, there's a villager. There she is. Maybe we can get some swords. A villager hey, enters the stage. Can we trade with you? What do you have to trade? We don't have anything. Okay, never mind. She starts to walk away. Wait, wait, I have gum. What flavor? Strawberry. I love strawberry gum. Melissa takes the store Here's the sword from the villager. She attaches it to her belt. Cool. Oh, oh you guys look. What? Steve points to the portal. There's a There's a portal. Maybe we can get out and into the next world. Come on. Steve jumps in the portal. No, I'm scared. What if something bad happens? It'll be fine. Come on. Alex jumps in the portal. Now Melissa is oh. left on stage and evil boss man enters the stage. Hello. Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Everyone knows who I am. I am the evil boss man of Minecraft. Ha ha ha. You're not scary. What? Okay, you don't think I'm scary? You think that's funny? I'll take you away. What? Evil boss man takes Melissa off stage. Lights go dark. Come up, Alex and Steve are on stage. 
Where's Melissa? Where's she? I don't know. Melissa's not there. I don't know where Melissa is. Maybe the evil boss of Minecraft took her. Oh, Melissa pops that? up. Oh, I'll explain later. Come on. From behind oh, the crop across is. the stage. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but hurry up, get me out. Evil boss man comes in and stands next to the jail. You can never free her unless you defeat the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon enters the stage. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What is there to eat? I need food. Dusty. You can eat them. Boss man points to the kids. Dragon goes after Alex. You have to play the game. I'm going to get you. No! Melissa waves Harry, her hand in the air. Here. Catch the Throw, sword! She throws the sword. Stevie picks the sword up. This is revenge for hurting my brother Alex. He hits a dragon with the sword. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The dragon falls down, dead on the no, ground. No, no, my dragon, no, no. Evil boss man leaves the stage. Melissa and Steve hug and they are freed. Lights go out. Steve and, Steve and Melissa are on stage. You saved me. I saved you, but if you didn't throw me that diamond sword, it could have been worse. I have a question. Remember the dragon got him. He got Alex. He didn't get out. Alex appears on stage through the portal. Melissa and Steve are so excited. Whew. Alex! Thank you, thank you! Wait, wait, let me start over. Hold on, I'm doing it again. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Go Just... ahead, do it again. Okay. Phew! Thank you! The three of them hug. <laughs> <laughs> Narrator comes on stage. Well, that was the end of the story. Hmm, or was it? On the PowerPoint screen, in the next episode, they will find a Roblox Obi. Will they get free? And with the help of their friends, will they get out? I don't know. Maybe you will discover the mystery in Sucked Into Roblox Obi. Students all come to the front of the stage and take a deep bow. Thank Curtain you, thank closes. you, thank you.